I had no idea that women didn't do this. I have to say, there's not a formula for getting work. I still have as hard a time as anybody. Uh, really, I do, because maybe my projects are larger, even though half the time I'm doing friends' small projects, they twist my arm, and I really like it, because there's not a whole army of people sitting at the monitors discussing if it's too dark or too orange or whatever you know it's uh, nice to work on someone's independent vision i will tell all of you out there that our dps are trying to be or thinking about it it does not come from an agent it took a long time and i'm not unhappy that it took the time that it did because i learned set etiquette it is a lot of hard work and meeting people and making sure that you are grateful for every opportunity that you have that you don't have arrogance and that you're grateful to be living and in this wonderful industry if you can find a way to make a living however it happens there's a tendency to never cut the camera today and we had a discipline that everybody was quiet and focused and nobody was texting. There were no cell phones, really. I do urge cinematographers to use light meters and not rely only on the monitors. Um, I'm guilty of, you know, especially, you know, in television, we're working so quickly that I do use a monitor a lot. And yet I do have my light meter for balance. The problem with digital again is people can get lazy uh, because it's so forgiving and anything can happen in post. So what the cinematographers should do is figure out the director's strengths, get the directors looking at images, photography or paintings, other films and try to get into their head about what they want the film to look like because some people are not as visual i hear many director friends of mine complaining about some dps that try to take over we should remember it is not our film we are there to serve the director and his or her vision one thing i do tell directors if they're not as visually savvy um, I tell them to watch their favorite movies without sound, for example, so they can really look at the visuals and also editing. Um, I have even been known to take directors to a rental house and show them various focal lengths, or let's say we were thinking about shooting widescreen or anamorphic, or you know, so I really try to educate them and they may, their eyes may glaze over, maybe they just don't get it, but that's okay because they're a lot better at directing actors than many DPs would be. So uh, we all have our gifts. The scripts are so long and we're expected to shoot everything. So there is an issue with uh, time and yet a lot of the writers haven't been on set and so in terms of movies people better know what their budgets are <laughs> because you know a lot of night exterior with moving trains and planes you know that stuff is expensive the effects is expensive so i don't have any say over what the writer does or doesn't do but i will say when a project comes to me is there enough money to do this properly i feel there should be a responsibility of the higher ups to limit those scripts so that we do not have to be shooting gazillions of pages that will be on the editing room floor